Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonali and I wanted to start off a new vlog. We have a fun weekend coming up and I have so much to prep and I obviously have a very special package in front of me that I wanted to unbox with you guys. This is the craziest PR I've ever received. Like, I'm not sure anything could top this. I honestly feel like I've peaked in my life and my career. But we're here, so let's unbox this. Last minute guesses. Like I said, freaking insane. Apple gifted me a MacBook Pro, and this is like with all the bells and whistles. I currently have the MacBook Pro from 2019, and I upgraded that one to the Max, I thought at the time. Um, comparing this to that, I'm like, wait. Could it have been better but i'm not sure because it was so long ago but i remember it being super expensive i got like two terabytes on the computer itself of storage that was the main thing i needed it was just like so much more storage and i still am like running out of storage on my computer right now um and i'm so excited about this because of all of the upgrades with like the m chip and it's just going to be so much faster honestly a huge reason why i've been kind of just not great at vlogging and just the whole YouTube thing is because editing is so time consuming and my computer right now just lags so much. Like I feel like I'm a very fast editor, but when your computer is not like catching up to the way you work, it's really, really frustrating and it obviously takes a lot more time. So I'm so excited, especially for like editing photos and editing videos on this computer because it's like so much more powerful. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated on this Mac and I'll have like all the specs on the screen if you guys are interested. It's also my first time getting a different color Mac other than silver. I think I've always gotten silver. So this is the space black, black space. Again, I'll have it on the screen so I don't mess it up, but it is the black one and I think it looks so sleek and very cool. And this could not have come at a better time because tomorrow me and my photographer friend are doing like a headshot swap. So we got two hours at this really cool studio that we've shot at before and we're just gonna take like a bunch of branding photos so I can have my new computer in the photos and I'm so excited about it. Oh my gosh, so wait, this is so weird. It doesn't have like the touch bar. I'm so used to that. This is going to be very different, but honestly, a very good different. I don't remember the last time I filmed for YouTube. It's been a minute. That first clip was from, I don't know, maybe like April or something. It is currently, oh my God, July. I'm not quitting YouTube, so don't worry about that. But I think it was just kind of a situation where I was so used to not vlogging after even two weeks. It's kind of a habit that you get into and you kind of have to remember to vlog. I'm not putting YouTube, so don't worry about that. It was more so that I feel like I wanted to focus on TikTok for a little bit, and I realized that I really love YouTube, even though it's very time consuming. Um, I love having my memories on here, especially our trips. I just posted my Mexico City vlog, and that was also in April, I believe. Yeah, we went in like early April and I just posted it, so sorry for the delay on that. I was this close to like scrapping the footage and not even like editing it or uploading it, but I was like, why would I do that? I literally filmed a whole vlog, I need to put it up. So I'm glad I got that up and I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Um, we are literally going on our next international vacation tomorrow. So this whole vlog is going to be me prepping and losing my mind pretty much because I get really stressed out um, especially before international vacations because of the long flight. And I just like to be as prepared as possible. We're going to be away for like a little over, no, a little under two weeks. So I just feel like I need to have all my stuff with me and I am a chronic overpacker. I actually just bought some CalPAC items to hopefully help with that. So I'll unbox it here in a second, but I feel like there's so much to update you guys on. Like this house has transformed since the last vlog like the kitchen's all redone and well i guess i showed you the bathrooms so the bathrooms got renovated oh my gosh the backyard is insane now we literally have a pool in our backyard well a cowboy pool but i still count as a pool if you're not following me on tiktok like you are missing out because we have done a lot um and i don't want to put it all in this vlog but i do need to like kind of give you guys like maybe a mini house tour i know like it's not 
where I want it to be at all so I don't want to do like the whole thing. I have not hung up like really any art except for put two digital prints on these shelves but we really want to get some art in here and like make it a little bit more vibrant and cozy and I feel like it's taken a while to actually get like the furniture pieces we want so I think now we are moving on to like hanging up art which is exciting and I really 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 want to go like home shopping in Spain that's where we're going on Saturday um so hopefully we find something I did say that I wanted to find something in Mexico City and we didn't really have like too much time like to shop for that kind of stuff but hopefully in Spain we'll find something so yes lots of home updates to come when I get back from my Spain trip but I did want to do like one home vlog in between the Mexico City vlog and Spain vlog but let's get into it I also want to film a ton of stuff today yesterday was July 4th and I was planning on filming a lot yesterday but then we ended up hosting last minute and it was something so chill I was really trying to be chill too and like not prepare a lot of stuff but the host in me just like wanted to make all this stuff i made cowboy caviar this to like tomato basil mozzarella salad and dirt um it was really good but basically that took away from my filming time yesterday and so that moved it to today but i also have to pack today and literally packing for me takes two to three business days i swear like i don't know why i've traveled my whole life but i think it gets harder as an adult because like you want to be even more prepared and you have more stuff that you want to bring with you so yeah this is going to be an issue today and <laughs> we're just going to go through it together but let's unbox what i got from calpac because i think this is going to help out this furniture piece right here is my pride and joy i found it on facebook marketplace i'll put the girl's instagram on the screen right here she just refurbishes a bunch of furniture and they are just stunning I'm obsessed with this like i've been dying to find something like this for a very long time so when i found it i literally snatched it up and it's perfect for my office because now i actually have storage here my desk doesn't have like a drawer or anything so this is really nice i have all my bags in here and just like random like office stuff it's not even full thing which thank god because i feel like maybe i need to start putting my tech stuff in there be nice to have like a charging station in there somehow like maybe run a cord through the back like cut out a hole i don't know we'll figure it out now on to what i got from calpac i saw a tiktok the other day and i was immediately influenced i literally bought expedited shipping on this i realized we have five weddings this year and one bachelorette trip for me and then like so many other trips in between which is like super fun and awesome but i really really want to work on like being able to pack more efficiently because like I said, I'm a chronic overpacker and I just, I don't really even know if that will ever change because I was just home in Georgia and I was like helping my dad fold his shirts for a vacation that he was gonna go on. And when he travels, he always goes for like a couple of weeks or like a month at a time. And obviously you have to pack a lot for that, but also he was just overpacking a lot. And I was like, you don't need three black shirts like pick one you know what I mean and I was just like wow I don't have any hope because if you travel literally like I don't know nine months out of the year and you pack like this like there's just no hope for me because I don't even travel that much but anyways hopefully this in here will help me so let's unbox it this is the Terra Backpack 26L and it's in the color cacao I was really torn between the black and this brown color but I want it to go a little bit more fun. Like I know this is still not very fun. They have like really cute colors like blues and all that stuff, but I just I just could not commit because I feel like this is gonna last me forever. So I wanted to still stay neutral, but I have no regrets on this color. I think it's gonna be amazing. Um, I wanted to walk you guys through all of the zipper compartments because goodness gracious, this has so many. So let's start in the front, a little pocket right here. I love having like all these pockets because it really actually makes me angry when I get like even a purse and it doesn't have like one singular zipper in it come on now like I have to put all of my lip liner somewhere um here has a lot more pouches in there Over here this one I don't think goes so deep but it's a nice little pocket to have and we have this zipper up here that actually unzips the whole thing and this is what it looks like when you open it so you can put 
clothes in this side. You can put shoes right here. They also have some straps right here to compress your clothes even more. So if you like really wanted to pack in just this backpack, you could. I don't know if I'll ever get there. Back here we have the laptop sleeve. Oh, maybe that's a better way to show you guys. And it fits my 16 inch laptop, so that's amazing. And then over here, this mesh part, you can slide it on your rolling carry-on. So that's just one less thing you have to carry. Here's what the side looks like. There's a little handle right here in case you're putting it over head and you just need to like, you know, yank it out real quick. Over here on this side, it has a little zipper. And I believe this is for your water bottle. I'm like looking at it, did I miss any zippers? I don't know, I don't think so. This whole time I was using my camera backpack so it literally just has slots for like lenses and stuff. So I would try to be organized that way, but I think this is definitely more practical for just like everyday travel. So I'm very excited that I bought this. Definitely an investment, but we are traveling so much this year. So I felt like it was definitely worth it. And I think next year is gonna be even crazier with all of my friends getting engaged this year. This is my first Cal pack purchase ever. And so once I found that backpack on TikTok, I kind of went down a rabbit hole and everyone was recommending this right here let's unbox her again i really wanted to be like fun cute and girly and get a really cool color but you know i just couldn't like this is just so me this is their like travel makeup case what's it called i don't even know oh cosmetic case yes and this is the medium size holding it in my hand like i don't know if i'm gonna fit everything in here but like on tiktok it looked ginormous and everyone was like this is more than you need because they do have a large size too but i don't want to have like this big thing in my suitcase so you can unzip it over here okay if this is too like chunky to fit in your suitcase you can just lay it down over like your clothes just like this so some people will do makeup in one and skincare in the other i really hope i can do that but i feel like anytime i leave and don't bring like this one skincare product, then my face breaks out. And I'm like, oh, I don't think I need it. You know, my skin's doing well. No, like I'm gonna bring everything this time because we cannot have that happen. Over here, we have this like mesh zipper. You unzip it and then you can kind of put everything you need in there. This side doesn't have that mesh zipper, but pretty much the same thing. So I'm excited to see what all fits in here. They both match. I'm gonna have both of these linked on my like to know it as well as in the description box. I should really name this vlog my Spain collective haul because I got so many random little things that I hope are gonna help me throughout this um, trip and just make life a little bit more convenient. Um, and I don't wanna be like shilling products out to you guys, but I think this one is worth it to show you guys. This is a little travel tripod and I've had a couple travel tripods, mini tripods in the past. And this one definitely takes the cake because number one, it is MagSafe and it folds down to like this little slim thing. So let's open it up and show you guys why this one is the best one that I've had. So this is the tallest it goes. And why I like it so much is that it has so many different angles. So you can like really like flip it all the way which is nice because all the other travel tripods I've had are very limited to the angles that you can get. And this is just perfect because like if it's just on a table or even if I just want to watch like TikTok while I'm getting ready, like this is so nice. But I am a pop socket girly and like obviously I don't want to just like take this off all the time. And I just realized that this is magnetic on the back so my pop socket literally just fits on the back of this little travel tripod which yes it makes it a little bit more bulky but like my phone is already bulky with the case and the um pop socket on it so i am obsessed with this little travel tripod like i cannot wait to use it and make so many tiktoks in spain um so definitely follow me on tiktok because the content over there like it's gonna be so good i got this on amazon i know they sell it on tiktok shop now if you haven't bought anything on tiktok shop there's like always this coupon code that gets you a lot of money off. So if you want to save some money, buy it on TikTok shop, but I will also have that product linked in the description. Hi vlog, welcome back. Sonali decided to finally vlog again. So I'm about to give a plus size um, <laughs> Abercrombie. Big and tall Abercrombie haul. Not plus size, but they are plus size. Yeah. <laughs> 
yeah so basically i decided to take matters into my own hands y'all because this man well today he's not yeah, wearing it wearing but it. yes he does he wears carhartt t-shirts all the time and i was like you will not be embarrassing me on my europe trip the europeans love it <laughs> when we were in italy they had full carhartt stores oh yeah that it, well this is true but yeah. It's just like you just wear it with like shorts and maybe you need to style them better like them. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys some things that I got him from Abercrombie because I'm very excited about him because he looks so cute and all of them. He wanted to try them on first before and like make sure they fit. Um, but yeah, I want to do a little TikTok video with him too. So thought I would share them on the vlogs for you guys. So I like the black and white. Kind of vibe. I have white shoes. I probably wear with this, I guess. Really? No black shoes or anything? Uh -huh. Or just Birkenstocks? Are your Birkenstocks brown. brown? They're brown. I don't think it will look bad. I don't know. Yeah. But I love how it's like all linen, mm -hmm. and the shorts are really cute. But these are actual linen too. They're a little thick. I kind of thought they'd be a little cooler. I like all my shorts a little bit shorter, so I roll like, the waistband. It kind of takes like two inches off the inseam or so. This is one of my favorite ones. It's kind Me of like too. a regular like polo right here, you know. And then these shorts are the same texture as the black ones and a lot like lighter than those linen shorts. It's nice. Still have these rolled though. So, a little bit long, but I like them. You think Birkenstocks? Mm hmm, for sure. It's gonna look so cute. Look how cute these swim trunks are. I love those. Five yeah, inch. Say, yeah, they're five inch. These also have the uh, liner uh, and the shirt. I don't this think it's a like a little bit baggier. I kind of like it though. Yeah. It's a nice thick collar. I feel like this is just gonna be a good basic like coastal summer vibes. You can wear it with a lot of different things. You can even switch out just like to the white linen shorts. Yeah. Or a white shirt with these shorts too. Oh yeah, true. This is the last outfit. How do you think I did? I like these shorts a lot. Yeah, I me too. Get these out, but I like the green ones more. They're a little bit shorter than back here. I pretty much just filled up my Abercrombie haul or cart <laughs> and sat there with Ryan like and went through what yeah. he liked. I actually didn't realize they had such nice clothes. I always yeah. assumed they were like, I remember like the coats from middle school that had like the Yeah, the I fur know. Them. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, the fur. Oh my god, I think I had one of those. I did get a new camera. This is the Sony RX100 and I wanted like just a smaller vlogging camera. Um, I do have the Canon G7 X, but the video is not very good on it like the autofocus is just really not good and i'm a sony girl because i literally shoot with sony as a photographer and my camera that i use for my photography business is the one i usually vlog with and that has a really nice wide lens but it's so heavy you guys <laughs> that's why you see me switching hands like in every clip when i'm vlogging with that camera but this one is like super super light i also like this camera because it has a flash just like the canon g7 x although i'm still trying to learn some photo settings to share with you guys on tiktok and everything um but i'm liking this camera so far and now we're gonna move into washing my makeup brushes i've been putting this off for a very long time. I do remember people saying like use Dawn dish soap, but I might just use like a cleanser or something. I feel like that just seems a little too harsh, but I got paper towels and everything ready. So let's do this. talking about and then just packed her bag we have to drop sophie off at the pet sitter and she's getting anxious i of course forgot to vlog but we just did a couple errands we went to heb we needed to get like literally two more dog foods so we got just a whole nother box and we left that with sophie and our sitter we just dropped her off we're so sad she was so cute but we'll see her soon and um, hopefully we don't see any dogs in Spain because in Mexico City, we like literally first day we got off the airplane and we went to a dog park and it was really sad. It's like, this is too soon to miss Sophie. But actually, you know, it's always nice to see a dog on vacation. It's kind of comforting, but also very sad. But anyways, we're gonna go back home, 
I really wanted to get my toes done. Like they're not like super grown out, but we'll be gone for two weeks and I don't know what the situation there is going to nail salons, I'd rather not. So if I have time, like that would be great if I could get my nails done, but um, I don't know if I will. I think that will make me a little bit more stressed. We'll see, but I do need to start packing. I feel like I've said that since like 9 a.m. this morning, but. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go get my nails done now. I just switched over to my car. Um, I am very sad though because I usually bring my own gel nail polish. I have this one color from OPI. Now I really don't even know what the color is because I can't remember, but I couldn't find it in my usual spot that I always put it in. And I think I left it at the salon last time because obviously like you bring a color and then they paint it and then they just put it somewhere. I don't think I got it last time, which sucks because it was like my color. And now I don't even know what the name was. Like maybe I can check my Amazon orders. I don't even know if I bought it from Amazon. So this is an issue, but hopefully we find something very similar. But that also sucks because that nail polish was not very cheap. So anyways, we're gonna go to the nail salon. Hopefully there's not a lot of people there. Ryan did say a lot of people probably have this day off, but I'm going around like 3.30. So I'm just thinking maybe that will be better to go now. And I know I'm sweating because <laughs> Ryan's AC sucks. So whenever I start to pack, like I feel like I don't ever want to leave my house during that because I just like feel like I'm forgetting everything and then I get stressed when I start to pack. So I haven't started to pack yet, but I will, I swear, when I get home. I just got out of the salon and I was planning on doing some work on my phone and I barely could finish because he got me in so fast. Like I took a picture of my feet at 4.03 and it is 4.22 already paid in my car. Like that is insane that he got me in so fast. I just did like a polish change. So there wasn't much like prep that he did, but he did file and cut my nails and literally a whole gel polish change like that I was like I literally thanked him I was like thank you for going so fast like I wonder if he could sense that I was stressed I didn't really say much I, I called before and so I was like oh I called <laughs> and he was like okay here here and blah, blah, blah. and he was going so fast I loved it anyways um I was just gonna put my headphones away these are from Bose and they literally look like earrings how cool is that I wish they had them in gold they only had silver and like another color but they aren't noise canceling, but I can't wear AirPods because they don't fit in my ears, which is so annoying because Ryan loves his AirPods. I wish they could fit in my ears. And I don't want to get like the little attachments because then you can't put them back in your case as easy. Anyway, so I got these. They're, again, Bose. And they're very just easy to just slap on your ear. And Because sometimes I just want to go grocery shopping and listen to a podcast but that would look so weird if I had like my over the head earphones in the grocery store, you know? So anyways, um, I've been really liking those, but I'm gonna go home. It is 4.24. The nail salons have been crazy busy today, which is interesting because I feel like usually people get their nails done like before 4th of July and like fun colors, but I don't know, maybe other people are heading out on trips too. Um, but yeah, okay, I'm gonna actually start packing when I get home, this camera is like wobbling. It's finally happening, I just brought out the packing cube so that's when you know I'm serious. I tried on a couple things, I actually just got my newly in and I've officially done all of the renting services. I've done Fashion Pass, Rent the Runway, and Newly now. And I will say that Newly probably has my favorite selection. Most of the time the things I get are new and they have tags on it, oh, this one is new and it's anthropology like they have beautiful brands anthro love shack fancy ronnie kobo like such good brands on newly and rent the runway is definitely for more mature style i would say but they definitely have gotten better they have like designers like sim kai and really good designers but they're definitely more mature and then i would say for fashion pass i feel like that would be good for like a college aged girl because they have like revolve stuff and Aster the label, but I still love both of those brands. But I noticed that Fashion Pass 
didn't really like get new items as often as Rent the Runway and Newly. This whole time I was thinking Newly sucks because you only get six items per month. When Fashion Pass and Rent the Runway, you can do like two swaps and you can get like eight pieces or six pieces, whatever it is per swap so you get like 12 pieces a month. I do believe Newly is the least expensive since it is six items a month and you can always add on a spot. I think it's like $20 for an extra spot. So for example, since I'm going on vacation, I added on like one more spot. It does suck though because obviously maybe some things don't fit you so two things didn't even fit me in my package out of like seven that I got. Um, but I do still recommend renting clothes like in general no matter which one you do try it out because it is such a lifesaver i've definitely found myself buying a lot less just clothes in general and let me know if you guys have tried any of the rental services and which one you like better i tell myself every time i'm like packing for a vacation i'm like okay don't stress too much you know that you're gonna literally wear probably the same outfit every single day anytime i go on any trip i save so many tiktok sounds i have so many content ideas in my mind and then when I get on vacation, I'm like, ugh, I don't even want to put on makeup. I want to chill. I like want to like leisurely, you know, get ready and not have to film myself. I just have so much motivation before my trip versus when I'm actually on my trip. So I do need to pack some comfy outfits just in case like I just want a casual dinner one night and I don't want to have to get ready. But I'm bringing a good amount of items that are like fancier, cute dresses, lots of dresses. I definitely find it easier to pack during the summer though because everything's so light. Like you don't need to pack thermal sweaters and jackets and all that. So thank God we are traveling in the summer for two weeks because that would definitely be hard to do in the winter. I got this cute pool cover up from Newly and this is a major slight. Like I'm gonna be pissed if I don't get a really good Instagram picture in this. This is the Love Shack fancy dress that I was telling you about and it has the tags on. Like it's brand new to me and a couple of my other friends actually had the opposite problem with things maybe looking a little bit dingy and worn. I do think I have an advantage because like I am mid-sized and maybe not as many mid-sized people are on the renting app. This is absolutely gorgeous. A free people dress and it fits like a glove. I love the way free people fits on me. Definitely pricier, but I have this one romper that I bought for my Italy trip like two years ago. I still wear it to this day. Like it still holds up and it's still such a flattering piece. Good morning guys. It is 9.25 the next morning and I definitely overpacked. I can really try not to. Well, technically this one is not filled all the way. Like it literally feels like nothing. I just put like floats and random little things in there. So if we go shopping, we can always put like more weight in that one. But like, <laughs> I don't know how this happened, but even this thing is like fully stocked. Well, actually I have a lot of snacks in here. So that's probably why this is big. I accidentally went a little crazy. I think I need to put this little bag in here because we're gonna take this carry-on, this carry-on, and then my personal. And they'll probably say something about this being too big to have like two personals. I never know whether to wear sweatpants or shorts, but today I'm going with shorts because I know I'm just gonna get really hot going to the airport. Um, but I did pack some like light long pants in my um, backpack just in case I wanted to change. We have a super long travel day. Um, we're trying to leave very soon and then we only leave JFK to go to Spain at 9.45 tonight. So this is like 12 hours of just going to New York and having a layover. Hopefully I get a lot of editing done in the airport because we have a lot of time to waste. But I wanted to end the vlog here because I know I'm gonna forget after this. I cannot wait to vlog for you guys in Spain. Make sure you're following me on TikTok and Instagram. I'm definitely gonna be posting in real time over there. So I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.